Hello again, a new day, a new little project this time. You see, I'm a huge fan of subwoofers and uh, what I'm trying to do today is to have a box or a house. This is a adjustable subwoofer filter my, made by Jing Gong something anyway. That include a dual operational NE5532P. This is already assembled, ready to, to work, I may say. Twelve volt power supply, and then I need to input output jacks, some pieces of wire to get all the connections done, and of course I need some shielded cable. Let's do the mambo jumbo, and then we'll have some tests. Let me see what kind of hole do I need here. It's six point seven millimeters. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's clean these guys. And that will be the final position for the electronic. Now I have to plant this input output. And of course, and here somewhere, power supply. Well, just a little bit more. Looking great, isn't that? So I'm not tidying this because I have to switch the position a good idea before having anything soldered is to use a little bit of sandpaper and uh, prepare the connections and we have the ground on this pin okay and then it's this one here for the signal. Very important to have this guy stint from the beginning because it's a mess. That's one, the output. That's it, people. That was the final soldering. A good idea, in fact, double tape will keep this better in place. Doesn't really have to be tied. How's looking like? Funny, no? Now let's see. This is the output on the right and this is the input. And I have to print some labels and have it on the case. Now, let's have some tests, no? What do you think? Okay, so I managed to reverse engineering the schematic for the circuit. The first half of NE5532, it's for the input. We already have a filter here and we also have the gain. The um, non-inverting input is going to a half uh, divisor of the power supply because we have a single power supply we need to split it in half with a 10 kilo resistor here too and that's a um, capacitor to the ground and uh, here we have half of the voltage and then we have a solenoid key filter applied to pin 5 to the second uh, part of the IC this have a ground 12 dB per octave as you can see here Pin 5, it's also connected to the half rail, half voltage rail, and uh, of course, through a capacitor to the output. This schematic is working this way, let's say. So we have a constant sound. This one supposed to work from 22 or something to 240 Hertz. Let's start with the frequency on the right, maximum right, clockwise, like that. Here we have, let's say, 50 hertz, 100, 200 hertz, 300, and so on. So the filter will start abruptly cutting the frequency from down here. Okay, then moving 
anti-close wind, the frequency knob, then all this cutting will go deeper and deeper. You see, that's how the filter is working. So uh, my first my first idea was that it's a kind of parametric or something, you know, like uh, like this. I mean, jumping or scanning the frequency in fact, you know, moving a band from one to another. No, this one is just cutting deeper and deeper and lower and lower the frequency. That's how is this uh, filter working. And now, because we have all these things set, let's start having some tests. Here I have my phone and I will uh, connect this to my sound card. We are using a true air AT on, uh, on spectrum analyzer and uh, we have a 500 Hertz range here. This is my sound card input. I'm touching that and you already see a peak on 50 Hertz. And uh, of course this goes to output. And the input, I have my phone with a function generator application on like that output any other sound so that's why i'm moving to a very high frequency here doesn't bother us and we have a white or pink noise let's use the pink noise now if i'm applying okay this is just residual going to from the output to from the input to the output now I'm connecting the power supply. Volume. I see the volume it's working. And like I said before, look at 200. You see it's starting cutting from 200 Hertz. Let's make this uh, bigger. Here we have uh, 10 kilohertz. Okay, that's fine. 5 kilohertz. As you can see here from 200, it's already, you see there here in 200, it's already starting cutting. Okay, now here we have the 200 hertz frequency. Now it's going down, but we still have the 50 hertz frequency there, which is going down now, almost at the end of the potentiometer. So exactly like I said, it's cutting the frequency down to 22 or something, which almost stay there. It's kind of difficult to, to understand this and to hear that. And now let me play some music. So now we have the full range, I may say. I'm starting cutting the filter. Now it's at the bottom of the of the scale of the range. The point is that I'm pretty sure I don't have too much, uh, you know, 30 hertz or 35 hertz running out from the phone. But that's the idea of the things. I hope uh, I hope it's useful like uh, always. 
You see, don't forget subscribe to my channel and uh, of course uh, comment, like, and the most important thing, don't forget, have fun. Bye-bye.